We just received another update from the National Hurricane Center. Tim, what does the latest advisory indicate about the potential impact of the first coast? Well, Jeff, we are still in the cone of concern, but as you mentioned, Elsa is still a tropical storm. It has intensified some winds are sustained at 65. There's a few hurricane force gusts. The core is located just to the south of the southern Cuban coastline, so that means it still has to cross the coast. The pressure has dropped just a bit, and that supports those winds and now moving to the northwest at 15 miles per hour. So there's the cone of concern. No major change there. No major change in the intensity forecast. Fully involves northeast Florida and southeastern Georgia. Still thinking it'll weaken after it crosses Cuba. That won't be until tomorrow. That is until it emerges over the southeast Gulf of Mexico. May re-intensify a bit more, but the core is going to be so close to the coast, we don't think it will become any stronger than a strong tropical storm. Then, of course, making landfall between uh, Clearwater and Cedar Key, weakening a little, but then going over northeast Florida and southeastern Georgia, possibly going down to a tropical depression, but then close enough to the coast to becoming a tropical storm again, heading up toward the Savannah area. So think of it as going over our area, right as about a tropical depression, tropical storm, doesn't really change our forecast. Looks like the worst of the weather for us is going to be on Wednesday. Heavy rains over rains that have already caused flooding around the area, and because we're going to be either right under or just off to its right side. The other concern will be severe thunderstorms. You know what that means. Gust of 60, possibly some power outages and isolated trees down. But I think the big headline is going to be more rain on top of the rains that have already caused flooding like today. Thank you very much, Tim. Well